okay, so not in any way a um, good, fair comparison. The Echo is running a brand new C83 chain. Um, so that's three eighths, and it's C83. Uh, the the Weimars is running a used and honestly could use sharpening. <laughs> it's I mean it's not bad. But it, it's throwing good chips, but it's not smooth. You know, it's not it's not smooth. Kind of grabby. Not bad, but it is kind of grabby. Um, but anyways. And it's a steel RS325 chain. It's also a 22-inch bar versus the Echo 20-inch bar. The Echo also is not even close to broken in. It is a brand new cylinder and rings. Uh, but both saws are, I believe, exactly the same CCs, almost identical in CCs. Uh, the Weimars is supposed to be 62 CCs, but it is not. I measured it out. I think it was 59 CCs is what I came up with. The Echo is 59 cc's. They go about it very different ways. Uh, the Echo has an extremely long stroke to it. But um, that the Echo ported muffler mod. And uh, it also has the carburetor high jet uh, stifled. Uh, you know, it's got that governing high jet circuit. And the uh, Weimars didn't have anything like that. Of course, both are running a muffler mod. And both have timing advance. Uh, but... Um, <laughs> pretty darn even <laughs> pretty darn even uh, I am surprised by it and again this is just for fun for um, curiosities you know it's just like man how how well does it stack up well that Weimars ain't no joke the thing runs good runs very 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 good and I just ported it today and I just did a video on that port work if you want to see that um, this, all of my uh, videos that feature a Chinese-made chainsaw, I have a playlist. It's called the Chinese Chainsaws. <laughs> I think that's what the playlist is called. So if you want to see more on that Weimars, just check out that playlist. It's it's there. Um, uh, what else can I tell you? But I would never ever ever say that the Weimars. Uh, is as good as that Echo 590. It is not. <laughs> but um, they're fun to play with, man. I'm telling you. Fun. I ended up, whenever I ported it, it's got really bad free porting out the exhaust underneath the piston skirt, but it's not making any difference. The thing runs great. Uh, pulls really good. I would say if I had both of those at my disposal... I would choose that Weimars for doing small limbing work more than that um, 590 because the 590 is bigger and heavier. But uh, that's about it, though. I mean, as far as power goes, that 590 is going to chug and lug a lot better than that Weimars will. But at the same time, that Weimars doesn't do bad, bro. I mean, it just doesn't. It, it runs good. Uh, it runs very good. So, um, yeah, just a video to throw in there. Whenever I, I was sitting here doing the, the where I compared the Weimars to my ported um, 50cc uh, Echo 4910, which I call the Thunder Kitten. Um, and it beat the Thunder Kitten. It beat it. So... <laughs> and it it just beat the uh, Echo 590, the ported Echo 590, in the uh, vice grip. But now the the I wasn't I was just running that 590. I uh, it would have it would have taken it on that if I had kept going with the rotation. But I stopped and dug in again, and that that kills time. But um. All I'm trying to do is showcase that, man, it's a good little saw. <laughs> it is. It's a very good little saw. And uh, I have fun with it. I had fun porting it. If you guys want to learn to port something, get one of those. Um, they're cheap. And if you screw it up, I think that you can buy an entire piston and cylinder combo. 
for like I don't know, like like fifteen or twenty five dollars off of eBay. They're really cheap. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, I can't remember your name, but somebody's. I get a lot of people asking me for advice porting. Just watch the videos, guys. I mean, I, I, I just, I get, a, I get a lot of questions. I can't answer them all, and I, you guys understand that. But um, with porting, there's so many variables to go into. Uh, so many. This is the way you learn how to port. Number one, you watch a lot of videos about porting. Number two, you port. That's it. <laughs> That's it, you know. Uh, all the advice is giving it, given in the videos. Um, and um, people have different styles. Some styles work better than others, if you ask me. Um, if you ask them, they'll probably, my style sucks. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but good results are good results. I got good results with this um, Wii Mars. It doesn't turn higher RPMs, really. I mean, maybe a little bit, but the main gain that I saw out of it was torque. It got a lot more torque. Um, so, yeah. Oh, back to the guy that asked me a question about porting. His question was on porting the Poland 3216, I think is what it's called. My best advice is you is to not port that saw. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to hear that. I know you don't. Um, they're, in my opinion, really, really bad saws. <laughs> Any of those little ones that are sub 40 cc's, I just, I've had a few of them, and every one of them, even whenever I get them to run right, they run like crap. And I just have horrible experience with those saws. So, yes, get something else to learn on because you'll get frustrated with that. What will happen is, is you, I know, I've been there. I've been there. With a saw that is not worth working on, what happens is uh, you do something to it and you, you didn't get the results that you wanted and so you're constantly hunting a problem whenever the problem is the chainsaw just sucks. It, you know, so you're like constantly, and you, and you blame in yourself. You're like, man, they make it look so easy. I can't do it. Yeah, you can. Just pick a different saw. Um, pick something like this Weimar 6220. You know, spend a little bit of money on that, get one of those, and play with that and learn. Uh, you can buy those, something like that, cheap. Um, but the Polands, they started, I believe it was, I believe the 3216 or, or whatever it is, is one of those um, uh, Strato saws. They're horrible. It may not be. It may be the old school that's uh, based on the same platform as the Wild Thing. And if it's those, then they're, they're truly not all that bad. If you've got one that runs good, you can mess around and do something. And, um, yeah, go for it. Do something with that. But if it's one of the Stratoport ones, in my opinion, the only place those things belong is in a trash can. And I like Polands. I like them. I like them. But I, those right there, those newer Strato charged ones. Bleh. Anyways, hope you like the video.